Today we're going to be looking at Tyson's new chicken sandwiches. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, today we have chicken sandwiches from Tyson that you can pick up in your freezer section. Of course, I get the chicken sandwiches out and that brings Gideon in here. Like I said, they have two different sandwiches you can get, spicy or original. So both of them have 23 grams of protein. It says spicy, well, on this one, on the spicy, a spicy, breaded portion chicken breast filet with rib meat on an artisan bun. Same thing over here, just the non-spicy version. Nutrition facts for these, both of them are 470 calories per sandwich. Uh, you're looking at 15 grams of fat, 760 milligrams of sodium on the original, 960 milligrams on the spicy. Like I said, both of them are 23 grams of protein carbs, 60 grams of carbs. So we'll throw each of these into the microwave. That's how I'm gonna try them out. Because if you're buying these, a frozen chicken sandwich, more than likely you're gonna cook it in the microwave because you want it quick. You want something that you can have fast. Um, you could do it in the air fryer or the oven. And as you can tell, this box is already empty because I have been eating these. I don't wanna spoil the review yet, but I can tell you that I started cooking. The first one I tried in the air fryer, and then I made the next one in the microwave. It was better in the microwave. Hands down, way better in the microwave. Because in the air fryer, it's saying, you know, cook it for like 10, 12 minutes. Then you throw your bun in at the end for the last three minutes. The bun was a little hard doing it that way. So we're gonna do it in the microwave because it was better in the microwave than it was in the air fryer. I've not tried the original yet. So we'll whip one of each of these up. And to cook these in the microwave, so you're gonna separate the patty from the bun, cook the patty in the microwave for about a minute 20 to a minute 30 seconds, remove that, wrap the bun in a paper towel, cook that for about 20 seconds, take it out, put your sandwich together and let it sit there for about a minute and then you're ready to go. All right, I got my two chicken sandwiches here cooked, spicy over here, original there. I mean, look at the shine on those buns. Like I said, I've already been eating the spicy one. I can tell you what, this is hands down the best chicken sandwich, frozen chicken sandwich that you can get from the grocery store and just cook in the microwave. Usually the bun, when you cook, whether it's uh, the frozen chicken sandwiches or say the frozen hamburgers, the bun never cooks right. It gets hard and that kind of ruins it. These buns, so soft. I mean, this is a really good bun. This chicken sandwich, especially the spicy one, gives, honestly, I live within two minutes of Chick-fil-A. I mean, it's literally right across the parking lot from my apartment. I'll probably just buy these and eat these instead of go to Chick-fil-A. It comes out to be a little cheaper. I think the box, you get four, and it was like $7.99. Really good. And then, Get yourself some Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce and put it on the sandwich. All right, let me give you a closer look at the patties here. So you got your spicy one here, and then your original there. Okay. Like I said, I've been eating the spicy one. I know how this is. It's not super spicy. Mm. I mean, hands down. It's an artisan bun, they say. It is so good. It is so soft, delicious. I mean, this bun is, hey, he can smell them. He's like, that's some good chicken there. Um, okay, I take that back. It's been a few days since I've had the spicy. A little heat in the back of the throat. Like I said, it's not overly hot. Let's try the original. I haven't had the original yet. It's probably because I usually put a lot of Polynesian sauce on there. So maybe it masks some of that heat. Mmm, that is a good chicken sandwich. And I will say this, maybe the way to cook it is, because obviously when you cook in the microwave, the meat is softer. It isn't crispy, it isn't crunchy. You get a little more of that when you put it in the air fryer. So maybe if you wanted it crispier and crunchier, cook the chicken in the air fryer, but don't do the bun in the air fryer. Don't follow the directions that it says to put it in the bun. Cook the bun, wrap it in a paper towel and cook it for 30 seconds in the microwave and the bun comes out amazing in the microwave. 
Let's get a little poly sauce on here. Because it's really good. I like the spicy a little better. The original's fine. I just like that little bit of heat. And I usually throw some pickles on here too. I just don't have them with me right now. Mm, a little poly sauce on there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Just look at that spicy one. Like I said, if you've had, and you may be hesitant about getting these, and you're like, oh, it's a frozen chicken sandwich. I've had the ones, you know, that Walmart makes, or we have Meyer here too. Meyer, a lot like a Walmart. I think Target probably has them too. You know, they're, they're store brand frozen chicken sandwiches. Like I said, the bun never comes out well. Even the uh, White Castle little chicken sandwiches, sometimes the bun is a little harder on one side than the other and just never cooks perfectly. These buns, like I said, are so amazing. Let me get a little poly sauce on the original and try some of that. Even that is a really good chicken sandwich. For being a frozen chicken sandwich that you can get in your freezer, throw it in the microwave, within two minutes, you're enjoying it. Oh man, this is good. Obviously, put some sauce on it. That's my recommendation. Make it a little better. Maybe it's pop, maybe it's barbecue. I like the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A to put on my sandwiches. Man, I don't know which one I want to eat. I think I'm probably going to finish both of these. They are that good. Leave in the comments below. Have you tried these? What do you think of them? Me? Hands, I mean, like I said, this competes with Chick-fil-A. I will probably eat these and buy these and keep these in the freezer rather than running over to Chick-fil-A. It probably, I mean, seven, what I say, $8 for four. So it's about two bucks a sandwich where I think Chick-fil-A is probably right in that range too, but it's just so simple and easy to do. And I don't know, I might like these better than Chick-fil-A. I know that's saying a lot. It has to do with the bun. The bun is absolutely amazing. This bun beats a lot of fast food restaurants buns. This bun is absolutely amazing. Tyson did a fantastic job with the bun. It's amazing. It's so good. And the chicken tastes great too. If you've had frozen chicken sandwiches before and you're like, uh, they're not that good. They're disappointing. Try these. Highly recommend, say, go out, pick these up, try them once. I guarantee you're probably gonna go back again and leave in the comments below. Like I said, if you've tried them, what do you think? I'm thinking they're hands down the best frozen chicken sandwich you can get. If you think there's a better one out there, let me know because I want to try it because this is absolutely amazing. There you go. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm going to finish these.